setting up the stream, take a second or two here to hit YouTube and <clears throat> It appears that we are live. Okay. Scott, we're live. How you doing, my friend? Here we go again. Today has been an epic day. I will share with the listeners um, who, are, are, who are booking tickets for the April 16th and 17th um, event right here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. What's happening right now is this thing is called the, the tipping point, and it's a little entrepreneur tip out there, okay? I've built many, many businesses. Scott, I know you have as well. It starts off where people think you're crazy and maybe your wife or your cousin, or maybe you are the only people convinced that you're not crazy. There's maybe just a couple of people. Hopefully you think you're not crazy. And then you get a few people that reach out and say, Hey, I, I can get down with that idea. I, I want to get behind that cause. And then you get a big name and then you get another big name. And then all of a sudden people are going, Hey, how come you aren't, how come uh, uh, you didn't tell me about that? I mean, Aaron, you, you see this, you run Oklahoma's largest home building company. This is Aaron Antis. Mm -hmm. Aaron, you run Oklahoma's largest home building company. Are you starting to have people say, hey, how come you didn't tell me about the the, oh, the, yeah. the, the, the reopen America? It's like the health and freedom every conference. single day I'm getting these texts going, oh my gosh, this thing is going to be amazing. I can't wait to be a part of it. How do I get tickets? So Scott, this is how tickets? it happened. And Aaron's my accountability partner. He's here. And we've got the pastor from Rama Church here as well. We got a lot of great people in the studio right now. I want, I want your listeners to meet these people. So it starts off, I'm having conferences or business conferences. And by the way, folks, if you want to get tickets, you got to go to thrivetimeshow.com and you click on the conferences button and you can see General Flynn, you can see Lynn Wood, you can see Sidney Powell, so many of the great personalities that Scott talks about on the show. Mike Lindell, I just had him on the show this morning, Dr. Richard Bartlett, Mark Victor Hansen, they're all going to be here. Well, we, we were, were hosting these conferences and Lynn Wood says, are you requiring masks? Like, no. Are you requiring uh, social distancing? Uh, no. Are you guys uh, doing anything? No, really. Have you <laughs> shut down at all with the pandemic? No. Well, you know, well, 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 why? I mean, that's that's kind of the question people have. Well, Aaron, you and I know the models that said 2.2 million people would die. Those are false. Totally false. Those were made by Neil Ferguson. Folks, Neil Ferguson, write that name down. Write that name down. Neil Ferguson and the Abdul Latif Jamil Institute said that 2.2 million people would die. Those are false. Totally. Everybody Google that right now. Mm -hmm. Neil Ferguson, Abdul Latif Jamil Institute. The models that said 2.2 million people would die, those are false. The PCR tests that keep the fear going, those are false, Aaron. Totally false. It's supposed to be set at 17 cycles, 17 amplifications. Those are set at 40. Yeah, not calibrated correctly. So we have false models. We got false cases. Yep. And then we got the treatments that are effective are being banned. Yeah. And so we, we Scott, we've had, had all these doctors on the show. We've had Dr. Meehan, we've had Dr. Bartlett. We've had uh, 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 Dr. Sherwood. Uh, we've had all these people. We had Dr. Sherwood earlier on today's show, and these people are treating COVID patients, Dr. Simone Gold, with zero deaths. Yeah. So if the models are false that created the fear, and the PCR tests are false that are keeping the fear alive, and the treatments are real and being blocked for false reasons, we have nothing to be afraid of. That's right. In, in addition, we know that, that God has not given us a spirit of fear. We could get into that too. Yeah. So yeah. we had no fear. So Lynn Wood says, I want to come to your conference. I want to come. Lynn Wood. Well, okay, let's do it. Well, then we had Mark Victor Hansen, the guy from Chicken Soup for the Soul. Everybody has the book, Chicken Soup for the Soul. <laughs> the number one selling author of all time ever sends me a text. Can I come speak? Well, you can't tell. The, I mean, if you have seven copies of a guy's book, you can't say no. Right. <laughs> That's the go-to gift. If you haven't did, been doing enough planning. He sold over 500 million books and 59 bestsellers. If you have not anybody. been, Aaron, you know how it is. Yeah. If you're a busy guy, yeah. you haven't been planning, what you do is you get the Chicken Soup for the Soul. Oh yeah. You sign it with, you slap that on there. You slip, put it in the, you give it to your cousin. It seems like it's a sincere gift. <laughs> that, he's the backup. And gift then it goes in his he, he actually got to the point where I think he put out a book once yeah. and because of his, because his reach and his power, it was a book with all empty pages and it sold like 10 million copies. It's crazy. It's unbelievable. <laughs> no, seriously. It's, it's huge. And then, and then general yeah. Flynn, general Flynn is like, hey, I'm in. I'm like, yeah. general Flynn is in. He's all in. I'm yeah. going, psh, psh. So I reached out to, to Pastor Craig, and maybe we can get, get Pastor Craig here yeah, yeah. with Rama Bible College. Uh, Scott, I reached out to Pastor Craig. I said, Pastor Craig, my facility, we comfortably fit four or 500 people in the building. We just had General Flynn here for a town hall, and we, you know, we can fit 500 people in here. We do it all the time. But I'm going, we're going to need something bigger than that. We need a big arena. 
And no arenas, no churches, nobody, Scott, will let us host the Health and Freedom April 16th and 17th conference. I called Pastor Craig. Boop, 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 boop. Pastor Craig, can we host it at Rama? And he said, yes. Pastor Craig, why'd you say yes, my friend? Well, because it's time that America knows the truth and it's time to come together all over America and churches. I mean, churches should be meeting right now together, you know, in unity and harmony without all the stupid stuff going on. And then we had a top shelf celebrity. Um, I'm not going to say his name and Scott don't guess because I'm about ready to interview Scott and Scott, if you guess and you get it right or wrong, it'll make our, my interview with you awkward as I ask you questions here. So I can just say there are that this, this celebrity top shelf celebrity, mm-hmm. very passionate reached <laughs> out and, uh, they might be coming to, to speak at the, the, uh, event as well. And now it's like, why are you not going? I mean, who, who's not going? And now people are telling me, I, how come you didn't tell me? I got people that I don't even know texting me saying, how come you didn't tell me? Shame. All right. Shame on you. So, Scott, we've got 4,500 people that will be there. Uh, Craig and I have been talking. Craig's like, you know, when I said 4,000, I meant 4,000. I go, no, no, I get it. We're going to fish the loaves. We're going to do the loaves fish thing. Uh, and he's like, Clay, we're talking about drywall. We can't fish and loaf our way to a bigger building. And I'm going, fire code, smirsh mode. We're going to make it happen. We're going to go India style where you share a seat with people. It's going to be awesome. People are going to rise it's going to be crowded. Up. It's going to be packed. And so, Scott, that's – and then Patrick Byrne reached out now, you know, from Overstock. He reached out. Melissa Tate, the great, is going to be there. I mean, at this point, I mean, Dr. Wakefeld reached out. Scott, it's it's an epic thing. It's a turning point thing. Don't and forget about my pillow. My pillow. Yeah, Mike, Mike Lindell is going to be here. And the momentum has shifted now, and we are going to shift – the national narrative. It is going to happen. It is going to happen. It is going to happen. It is happening. There's a shifting going on in the heavens right now and in the literal. There is a there's a spiritual battle being w- waged right now. We are casting out the spirit of fear. It's happening, Scott. It's it's a momentum thing. And now you, the legendary podcaster. The other day, uh, JT, who talked to you, JT was texting you, talking to you. And the people next to JT who sells tickets up here, they said, are you talking to Scott McKay? And he goes, well, yeah, why? Because he doesn't know who you are. This guy's not awake yet, Scott. We got to slap this guy around. He's only worked for me for about a month now. And now he's going, is he a big deal or what's the deal? (laughs) I mean, Sean, I mean, can you believe we have Scott McKay on the show? Yeah, I'm ready to ask my questions. <laughs> okay, so with that wind up, Scott, I'm going to throw it out for you. I say, Scott, you tell our listeners three things they all need to know. And then we are all, there's like, uh, there's five of us here, four, four, four of us. There's five of us, five of us, there's five of us. Uh, 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 it, it's all happening so fast I can't even count in the studio. And none of us are social distancing here. We're going to hit you up with follow-up questions. So, Scott, what are three things that you feel like the Thrive Nation needs to learn conversations you've probably already had at the Patriot Street Fighter where you're breaking down the truth. What are three things you need to share with our listeners? Um, three things. Um, three things would be um, the news is fake, the war is real, and I'm not stopping until the scumbags are dead and in boxes and removed from the planet. And they know who they are. That's pretty much sums it up. Okay, so let's break that well, down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, oh, news, yeah. the news is fake. We, let's, we go there. <laughs> let's go there. And I want to get, uh, if I can't, Craig, I'm going to switch out Sean with yeah. you real quick here. I'm gonna get James. James is an attorney, by the way. Um, so, Scott. folks, if you're listening right now and you want to uh, sue somebody, I know a lot of people just said, I want to, I, I don't know what to do, but I want to sue somebody. Uh, James, <laughs> what's your website? The, the lawyer james.com. The lawyer james.com. Okay, yeah. the lawyer james.com. So, Sean, we, you, we saw media came in for an event we did when we sued the mayor of Tulsa, Oklahoma for the mask mandate. Oh, that was epic. And the media comes in not wearing masks. Mm -hmm. Correct? Yeah. And then they put them on as soon as the cameras were rolling. So they had them off when the cameras, is it it just a pro tip? Maybe Scott, you could chime in on your uh, non-professional medical advice. Uh, Scott, is is the virus more deadly when the camera's on? Does someone, when when you hit the on button, does it activate virus spreading things? You know, I can't figure that out. I think sometimes it really takes a negotiation from like a governor here in Texas when Governor Abbott lifted the, the uh, mask mandate on the March the 10th. And I think they announced it like March the 1st. And I can't quite understand why that he did it nine or 10 days later. I think they actually got into negotiations with the head COVID um, and you know whoever that guy is to tell them that, hey, come March the 10th, you can no longer infect people. 
I can't figure any of these clowns out why they do anything. Look, the absurdity of this is, is so ridiculous. I was on the phone last week with Judy Mikovits, Mikovits, yep. who, 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 who beat uh, uh, Fauci into a pulp when she explained exactly what a crime syndicate he runs at CDC. She was being arrested when I when she picked up my, my call, took my call. And she was telling me she's in the middle of being arrested. I was like, are you kidding me? And she said, no, I'm on my way to my criminal attorney's office. The um, the the uh, the rent a cop Santa Barbara um, airport police actually physically accosted her, a guy getting her off the plane. She's wearing a mask. She's wearing a mask, the one that has copper and silver in, which is the only effective mask that there actually would be, not the asbestos loaded paper mask that they were requiring that she put on. They didn't do this until she got to the gate, got on the plane, looked at her name, realized who she was, and then Karen, the flight attendant, showed up, and then they started on her, and then she refused to get off the plane. And she was explaining to them, look, you know who I am. And she explained the mask that she has with that, that is the only mask that would have been effective on the whole plane, but it wasn't about that. It was about that she's going up against the establishment, outing these criminals for who they are. And they actually physically, this, 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 uh, this as you know how I'm very frank, this milk toast pussy ran a cop at the Santa Barbara airport that actually physically hurt her when he was cuffing her, getting her off the plane and going through the intimidation tactics. Real quick, Grab Nation, I want to make listeners know this. Uh, Scott was referring to a cat just a moment ago. Um, <laughs> exactly. Scott, continue. He was a, uh, okay, yeah. continue, sir. Yeah, and call that, call that cop whatever you want to call him, but you've now been defined exactly as who you really are. There were things that they did in, in the booking process that kept their signatures off of documents to make sure there's no record of what they did in this in this apprehension of her. She'll be on, by the way, Friday, and I'm going to turn her loose. And you think I'm tough? I was actually shocked in this phone call. I had her for an hour yesterday. I was like, you are the Patriot Street Fighter. I can't wait till my audience hears you. But see, here's the thing. They've destroyed her career from Fauci forward when she was telling people exactly what the deal is with HIV and everything that these criminals have been doing for decades at the CDC under his tutelage. So what's the mask about? Again, you know, I'm preaching the choir here. The simple fact of what the mask is about today, this week, and especially at the event in Tulsa, it's the opening salvo of a massive war we are now going to launch on these scumbags to get America to figure this out and finally stand up and say enough. This mask is about servitude. It's about bondage. It's about slavery. It's about disconnecting the emotional communication we have as human beings yes. with our facial expressions to show them love and concern and politeness and caring. Okay? That's what is they're okay? doing. Okay, can I let a secret out? Can I let a secret out to your listeners and to our listeners? Uh, Aaron, are you okay? Oh yeah, I'm good with it. Scott, are you okay with the secret? I love secrets. Are you okay with the secret there? Let her now, out. This is what secret. This is the secret. I only want the listeners to promise me: do not share this with more than ten people that you know, and hundreds that you don't know. And that's it. We are going to be burning masks. Come on! And yeah. I have got one America news coming to cover it. I've got Epoch Times coming to cover it. We have the Western Journal coming. To cover it, you know, the thing is, is that the the thing that the God gives us all certain skills. And my skill was that of a party planner. I grew America's largest wedding entertainment company. I would organize 4,000 weddings a year. Let me tell you the toughest thing to do, execute 80 successful weddings on a weekend. When I was building djconnection.com, it's very tough because the mother of the bride is involved. She wants to have an excellent event and it's a lot of stress. This event is easy, easy. Now, why is it easy? Because we've got competent and confident people who love God. They love the country. Rama Bible College, an unbelievable partner. These guys are great, easy. Why? Because we don't have to worry about their half in, half out. They're all in for saving this country. They know our rights come from God. That's amazing. Parents watching, if you have kids and you're thinking about sending your kids to Bible school or ongoing education, Look up Rama Bible College. It's easy. I got guys like Sean over here. They're like, what do I need to do? I'll come in on Sunday. I'll help volunteer. Whatever I can do to get these tickets processed. Folks, we're vetting every single ticket. Mm-hmm. People, people say, oh, you know, I'll do whatever I can do. What can I do? 
people like Jonathan in my office sending out press releases, reaching all the media outlets. This whole thing is easy because we've got patriots doing the work. And this is going to shift the national narrative. And we're going to expose the sham mockery. You know, our opening, opening line, our opening thing, I'm going to hop on stage. We're going to sing the national anthem. Controversial, I know. NBA, NBA, go screw yourself. Mark Cuban, screw yourself. Yeah. Mark Cuban, I want you to figure out how it's anatomically possible. Go Can I jump in on that? Can I jump in on yeah, go, no, for, go for it. Mark yeah. Cuban, go fork yourself, brother. Nobody even buys into you anymore. Go fork yourself. No, Mark Cuban, what you need to do, Mark Cuban, is you need to uh, study the origins of your name and go to Cuba. Hang out there. Go there. Stay there. It's fine. This is super important for people to understand this, though. We're going to bring up doctors. I got four or five doctors that will come up there with me. Mm-hmm. And Senator Nathan Dom. Oh, and yeah. the doctors are going to explain the models that said 2.2 million people would die. Those are false. The PCR tests are false, and the treatments that have been banned from you, they're being banned from you for false reasons. We have effective treatments. And then Senator Dom is going to explain there is no constitutional basis at all for a mask mandate, a lockdown, a shutdown. And that's where it's going to start, and that's before General Flynn enters in. You want to talk about some energy there? We're going to shift the national narrative. So you said the media is fake. The second thing, the second second thing you want to share, Scott, the scumbags are real. The, the scumbags the war, are the, real. The, the war is the war is real. Oh, the war is the war is real. Scott, tell us about this. The war is real. What do you mean? Well, see, people don't. People think that you know there's a small faction of people that are part of you know trying to push this oppression on humanity. The simple fact is, this is a this is a global order, and I can tell you, I have been receiving some very high, high, high level intel far above my pay grade from this. Let me just say it's one of these these protective bloodline organizations to crowns from from a very, very long time ago. They'd reached out to me, vetted me to some degree. I guess we had this back and forth interaction and, and, and I'm, I'm not prepared to bring forth information quite yet because timing is I'm understanding is timing is everything in information warfare. But I can tell you something. I can tell you some of the things that I've learned uh, on what's going on in the planet some really amazingly wonderful things that are going to be revealed is going to truly shock the world. And I can tell you that this, this war, uh, the, the, the mission on our side for the good of humanity that has been underway, it is truly biblical on proportion. It's an epic battle. And there are players that are, that are behind the curtain in this war that are truly going to shock humanity. So this is, this is, this war It's a war because it's being conducted against the enemy. Now, we know that a number of times there has been, you go back as far back as Howard Hughes, when Howard Hughes was, I think, the one who really uh, came to to, to learn about what's going on with the satanic ritual abuse, murder, all these horrible things on children being done by the enemy, right? Now, Scott, I I want to bring this up because I want everyone to understand what you just said and and back it with some, some facts here. If anybody out there is listening right now to the words coming out of my mouth, I want you to go on Amazon right now. Amazon. Go to Amazon. Here we go, folks. Go to Amazon. Now, you say, Clay, why are you supporting Amazon? Listen, folks, I'm not the one who set up these companies. I'm not I'm not saying I endorse Amazon, but look this up, okay? Type in The Great Reset. Aaron, have you read the book The Great Reset? Yes, sir. I just read it. This guy runs Oklahoma's largest home building company. You guys saw him on camera a minute ago. Mm-hmm. It's called The Great Reset. This book by Klaus... Schwab, <laughs> Klaus Schwab, and in the book, let me just read the table of contents. Uh, James, have you have you taken a gander, taken a gander at this book? I have. I've started it. Yep. You loving it? Is it a blasty blast? It's uh, crazy how enthusiastic this guy sounds when oh, he's yeah. writing it. That's what, yeah. what he's the head about? of the World Economic Forum, and he explains this is what's going to happen in the year 2020. He talks about these are the chapter titles. He talks about how accelerating the digital transformation, the lockdown, and the carbon emissions globalization and nationalism nationalism he talks about the risk of dystopia he talks about shifting away from capitalism changing how social interaction continues talking about what to do for people that refuse to adjust to the permanent changes that must be made um if you go to time to free america.com and you click on the great reset button you can see the event 201 you can see the Rockefeller plan. It's all there. Yeah. Can I throw out something, though? The people are going to get really depressed when they go look at this. But in the conclusion of this book, in small little letters, he doesn't actually like highlight it very much. But he talks about the being a resistance that could get in the way. That's us right now. Oh, yeah. That's what we're doing right now. 
So people need to get involved by doing whatever they can on the local level to try and prevent this from happening. Because once you read it, it's going to make you sick. Can I say this? Scott <laughs> was doing a great job on the show. Yeah. And Aaron was doing a great job. Craig was doing a great job. James <laughs> did a great job. And then you, what you done, you, you took the show to uh, the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> and you've upset. Scott, all your Scott, shows have a million uh, listeners, right? I mean, people are upset. I, I, um, show, I, actually, I, I actually want him to be my next guest on my next show. He's freaking awesome, man. <laughs> yeah. 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 Now, listen here. <laughs> Point three was put the scumbags stop. in a box, right? Stop, stop. stop. <laughs> listen, well, I know what you're doing. You're trying this way, does Scott. He hops on the show and he starts taking the show to a weird space. And I'm not going to let him do it. And Aaron, let me tell you why I'm not going to let him do it. Yes, sir. Because I have a gift I'm going to give the listeners. It's Sean's body. Oh. Mm. Now, now here's the deal, Scott. Sean is a single man. He's, a, mm. he's become a Christian here recently. It's true. And uh, you've been on these dating sites, and they're rough, aren't they, Sean? Oh, yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's not a fun world. He goes on these dates, world. Scott, and he's like, how are you? And they say, I'm a member of Antifa. And he's like, is that an Adam's apple there, Amanda? Do you have an Adam's apple? No, this isn't an Adam's apple. I'm, I'm gender number 94. You know, then he's like, gender 94. And then, I want to be with you. And you go, what are you? I'm a transgender female athlete. I dominate all the competitions. And then he's like, I want to, I want you to touch my Adam's apple. And he's like, hey, lady, hey, lady, or guy, hey, can we wrap it up? And he's trying to go on these dates. Yeah, and he's got Antifa out there. It's a it's a rough world. So let's look into the camera here. That way the, the listeners can see it. And then let's go ahead and give him your cell phone number. It's explain <laughs> no, no, seriously. Now, if you're a single lady out there and you you're a high quality caliber person, it's rough going out there. I'm not kidding. This is how he's gonna, oh, this this is gonna so find good. the drink. Yeah, I, I was telling you on Monday, I, I need leads, Clay. I need and some so, good leads. Scott, I'm asking so. for the high quality women out there. Only the high for, quality. Women. Only high quality. If you're if you're like my Adam's app was amazing. I'm gender 94. <laughs> <laughs> if that's who you are. Get out of here. But no, seriously, and I, I allow you on the show for two reasons. Yeah. One, to, so you can hurry up and get married to the right person. <laughs> and two, so we can quit talking about it. Okay, yeah. so what's your number? Give it out your number. All right, ladies, here we go. Here we go. It's 918-900-2205. Yep. Do it again. 918. Do it again. 900-2205. Yep. Zero five. Do it one more time, please. One more time. Nine Just, one this, eight. Scott, you know there's people out there that right now uh, <laughs> they want to hear. Keep going, please. Keep going. Why is he giving out my phone? Why is he giving out my phone number? <laughs> <laughs> Sean, give out the number. Oh, no. oh here we go. Really? Songbird, Kenny G. No. <laughs> this is this. Listen, there's All no right, music ladies. being played. These are the it's subliminal thoughts. This is called zero, programming. Zero. People are thinking this. Two two zero five. One more. One more time, Sean. Nine one eight. Nine zero 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 two two zero five five nine one eight nine one eight nine zero zero. Christian mingle with Sean. Like he says it like that again. I may be calling that number. <laughs> A lot of people have been quarantining, but people go, well, I, I might be gender ninety four too. Is he open? I mean, hey, Listen, I, I, I got the answer for you, my friend. You just need to find yourself a lady Patriot street fighter because they're the hottest, smartest chicks out there in the planet right now. Trust me, I get photographs all the time with their shirts on. By the way, shirt of the day, always our best seller. Save the kids. Save the kids. Save the kids. These are the these are the kids blocks. So yeah. So get you you want to get one of these girls? Get this t-shirt at PatriotStreetFighter.com. Wear this around. You'll be ambushed by the prettiest girls that are out there because they love the kids. Scott, can he uh can can Sean be like your wingman at the conference there in Tulsa on April 16th and 17th, where he can be with you. And then the women that are flocking to you, can you kind of vet yeah, them? Just tee it up no, for I'm, me. I'm being serious. I mean, I'm obviously I'm having a good time, but I mean, this is a blasty blast. <laughs> can, can you do that? Can he be your wingman? Scott, is that okay? Um, you can be my wingman, but I can't make any promises on what could happen, my friend. <laughs> Don't worry. I can, I can handle myself. You the, just bring no, it to the, me. The, the, the flocking thing is a little bit of an overstretch. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Like, what is I'm, ta- I'm taking I'm taking the best for myself. I'm just going to tell you flat out. <laughs> Scott, <laughs> Scott, are you a single man? I am not. I'm, I'm not married, but I'm not a single man. Okay, mm-hmm. I, I respect that. Now, here, let me tell you about Sean. Let me tell you, folks. He he could be on dates right now, but no, no. He has standards. He's making decisions based upon values. People that love America. Seriously, right now, I'm, I'm telling you, this guy, you got it, you folks. I, we never want to have him on the show again, okay? We never want to have him on again. So help solve this problem, okay? So Scott, uh, Scott let's ask you about this. You're talking about uh, this, this, this. Uh, uh, put them all in a box. The bad guys in a box. Uh, what kind of box? Uh, what, what, how big is the box? Uh, who are the bad guys? Well, I mean, I don't. The box size is irrelevant. I mean, if it were up to me, I'd like to see it a very small one, so they're a pile of smoking rubble. But 
Um, look, these guys are going to be eliminated from the planet. They're already being eliminated from the planet. A, a, a number of them have already been removed from the playing field. Um, but the thing of it is, is this, is that once the world discovers what's been happening to our children, as I said yep. earlier, Howard Hughes is the one that discovered it. He's the one that couldn't get these contracts, better product, better pricing to, by the government. So he sent his starlets in who he taught how to be the real honeypots and started to basically figure out what's going on. And that's what they learned. They got the visual evidence of what these people do. That's when the plan started in terms of how do we bring down this power structure, move forward all these decades, you know, culminated in another move that they made against them, which was Kennedy's basically salvo across their bow that he was coming. They took him out. Now we've got this 60 year period where there's been two other moves, as I understand, made against the cabal, unsuccessful. But this time it's bulletproof probably since 99. They put it in motion for 15 years. And uh, and every, anybody who thinks that that the military put spent 15 years orchestrating this final cataclysmic takedown of the cabal, that they're just going to let it happen where Trump walks away, you know, um, cordially after. Can you prove That's anything you just said? Can you prove it? Um, prove, you, mean, you, mean, you mean as far as the uh, the takedown well, I mean, operation? I, if, anybody, I, if anybody can prove it, they're lying because. This is probably the most secure operation that has been, been underway in world history for 15 years. I do know the NSA generals that I'm getting information from through my best, one of my best friends. Um, they've said that they're compartmentalized. They're not part of the, the 17 team because there's, there's only less than 10 people in that group, but they are Alliance generals and they do know the compartmentalized moving you can, parts. Okay, so, so that's where that the, comes from, right. So it comes down, I'm, I'm just saying this because our listeners and your listeners, they, they've over time, I'm just telling you this. I, 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 people have asked me this, and I'm telling you what I, I, I told the people who have asked me directly right. at the General Flynn Town Hall. They came up to me. And they said, "Is Scott McKay crap?" That was the question. Is he crap? And I'm like, "Well, I think that Scott is crap, or I'm crap to the extent that we can't prove what we're saying." So anytime Scott makes a claim, if he if he can't if it comes out to not be true, then that's where you, you start to go. I don't I don't know. But I can say if you look up what Scott's been saying, Scott, how long have you been talking about all this crazy stuff? Well, I've been talking about it for many years. I didn't start bringing it public and raining it down on these scumbags until January of 2020. That's when I started yeah. the tipping point on Revolution Radio. So, That's Aaron, Andis, we have time for uh, we have we're going to rapid fire. We got we got 90 seconds left. We got time for three questions. Rapid fire coming in hot. Uh, Aaron, what, what what question do you have for the great Scott McKay? Sure. My first question would be other than um, you know you verifying that you could find Sean a woman would be. Um, just wondering for you, or more than a woman, find a, a man with an Adam's apple who dresses up like here. a woman. Like this is true. <laughs> why do you Why do you think that our listeners should come to something like what we're setting up for April sixteenth and seventeenth? What is the reason? Because I think there's people out there who are like, sort of thinking, oh, I don't know if I believe all of this information. I'm not really sure. I mean, I trust our government officials. There's some people on the fringe out there. Mm. Why should those people? get a ticket and come check out April 16th and 17th in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Um, I'd say when you come to an event like that, where virtually every single person there believes what I believe and what I know to be true based on three years of intelligence that proved itself time and time and what 500 proofs we yeah. all been through this. So if you want to get information, you got to go where it's at, go get around this kind of people. Look, it's not just about what can you show me? What can you tell me? I've said this before. Yeah. Anybody who's been through this Intel, who've, who've, who've lived it real time, not like coming in now, going back and reading, you can't get yeah. the same thing. You didn't live it. Anybody who's been through that and draws any other conclusion than what we've drawn. I said, you, you, you fall in one of two places. There's only two places you can fall. You're either intellectually dishonest or you're intellectually lazy. One of the two. You can't possibly go through this intel and say, oh, that isn't true. That can't be true. We lived it when the future was being told to us. And when it happened, we just had to be, be pointed back to the past for verification. See, we told you this was going to happen. So that's how we know what's true. Um, but the thing that is, is once you get around a group of people, yep. class, classify or categorize that group however you want for any purpose that you want. In this particular case, all you have to do is be in the same environment where the, there's this resonant, righteous frequency, a high frequency vibration. See, you don't have to intellectually know what truth is. You can, you can understand truth physically. You can feel it spiritually. It's like that sixth sense. 
That's the part that they've eliminated out of our, our, our biology to be able to use and tune in our connection right to God. When you get around a group of people, that whatever technologies and chemicals they've used to drown that out, that's overwhelmed by this resonant frequency. You won't have to ask too many questions when you're there. You'll just get it. You'll, it'll happen to you. It, it can't, there's no other outcome that happens. There isn't going to be anybody there for any other reason because we want to be them there and you want them there as well. They're going to be the right people. The scumbags will be eliminated through your vetting process, but you're not going to be in that environment long. You're going to realize these people know something. And now I truly feel something. And then there's no debate in your mind after that. That's we've got a final, we've got a final uh, 60 seconds here. And I I just want to make sure folks, if you're out there and you are uh, what I would call more than a woman, uh, you know, the Biden administration is really pushing out there multiple genders. Uh, Aaron, there's over a hundred genders they're pushing now. Let me cue up. This is the song I want to dedicate to you. If you're out there and you're more than a woman, uh, Sean, if, if they text you, are you available for that? Or are you are you sticking with just females? What are your um, thoughts? Are you still? Are you a? I'm looking you for. A bigot? I'm looking for a, a an attractive female, 28 to 30. You know, she uh, definitely needs to not have more some than goals. Not, 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 some not solid Adam's values. Apple. No Adam's apples. Not more than I a woman. prefer no Adam's apples. But uh, it's 918 oh. 900 Come on, now. Come on. Oh, one more time. One more time. 918-900-2205. Folks, if you're looking for a beautiful man by the name of Sean, he's single. He makes good money. Trust me, I know. I help pay him. <laughs> for, for a guy his age, you know, he's certainly got a he's got a very knowledgeable formula on what he wants in a lady. When I was his age, I didn't know anything. I'm like, I want a deaf, dumb, and blind nymphomaniac whose father owns a liquor store. He's coming up with this beautiful description of what I want. I'm like, wow, I want to be like him when I grow up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. Final yeah. question. We got 30 seconds left. 30 seconds. Sean, Sean, what's your final question? Make it hot. Make it fresh. Oh, man. Okay, I'm going to go Space Force here just because I know Scott knows about it here. Okay. So I was watching Gene Decode videos today in preparation for this. What's, oh. what's the role of Space Force in the Nassara plan? Oh, boy. Um, here we go. Well, part of, part, of Nassara, part of Nassara is the disclosure of the technologists, the 5,000 patents held under national security directives to keep these technologies from us. Whenever Trump announced Space Force, the minute he said it, I said, there you go. Here comes disclosure. Why? If you drop onto humanity, these unbelievable technologies, anti-gravitic technology, zero point energy, sonic healing technologies, it'll cure every disease on the planet, rebuild a human body, um, age regression, all this stuff. And when people learn this, they're going to say, wait a minute, my mother died seven, eight, 10 years ago. You guys had this the whole time, or we had this happen, this happened. Let's go find them all and murder them. Right. But if you now have these technologies and you need to keep the frequency, the vibrational, spiritual ascension frequency rising on the planet, how do you do it? You put out this space force. It becomes the umbrella where they gather all these assets, put it on the umbrella in a couple of years. They say, hey, by the way, look how advanced space force is. And we'll be because we'll put masks on when we see there's no evidence of anybody dying. We'll say, wow, Look what they did in like three to five years or two years. All of a sudden, we got Space Force. How amazing is that? We have now anti-gravitic technology. That's one of the reasons for Space Force. Another reason is because they're controlling the satellite systems that they're able to track everything that went on through the election, you know, Dominion and this guy, you, this, you, you what you did. <laughs> see, this is why we don't have, we have a lot of our listeners. <laughs> We've established on this show, Scott, the models that said 2.2 million people would die. Those are false. PCR tests are false. The treatments are real. Election fraud has occurred. We, we Election fraud, medical fraud. Mm-hmm. We're going down that lane mm-hmm. right here. Just stay on target. Stay on target. And what you did is you said, hey, dad, can I pull over? I uh, want to I want to go to the gas station. We said, sure. <laughs> you went into the gas station. You unzipped your face. You became a lizard king. <laughs> and you flew in on a, on a, a Millennium Falcon. Your dad yeah. is like, son. Where, where's my son? And all of a sudden, the lizard king emerges and say, "I'm the ruler of uh, I'm, I'm the ruler from the planet Zoltan." That's what you just did. Yeah, this is, I was just curious about Space Force. That's all. You you, know. you did. You took the see. This is why we cannot have you on the show too many more times. You you know too much. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Are you going to unzip your face now, <laughs> <laughs> Scott? Thank you so much for joining us, man. You are a buffet of knowledge a fountain of knowledge, a well of knowledge. And I encourage everybody to check out your show, The Patriot Street Fighter. Uh, Scott, where can people watch your show? Uh, for people who are on my channel who want to find you again, where can they find you? Um, you can find our main site at scottmckay.us. You can find 
uh, our live stream show, which is we're on this right now. Actually, yeah. we're live streaming this to my channel too. Uh, Patriot Street Fighter Seven is the current primary. Got it. Um, the backup is Patriot Street Fighter Eight because we get taken down all the time because I won't roll back the throttle on the scumbag. So we are now in jail on seven until Friday. So we're in Patriot Street Fighter Eight live streaming right now. That's how you find us. Brother, I appreciate you so much for allowing us to, to be here with you today and to have you on the Thrive Time Show. And thanks for introducing us to your, your audience there, the Patriot Street Fighters. And I can't wait to meet each and every one of you in Tulsa, Oklahoma, April 16th and 17th. Get your tickets right now by going to thrivetimeshow.com and click on the conferences button. Scott, take care, my friend. Good to see you guys. Have a great day.